Sorry, we go away <laughs> from the <laughs> women. The women are done. <laughs> That's you. it now. <laughs> We're on to the men's we 51 indeed. kilograms. Indeed. Very easy to lose track here. So many bouts. We have seven, eight, eight more to come. And that is Juan Mar Lopez, who was extremely impressive yesterday. He does have a rich boxing heritage. His father, the same name, was a two-weight professional world champion. And Juan Mar Lopez Jr., 18 years of age, I believe he's the youngest boxer here. Indeed. In Busto Asizia. But he doesn't look like it. <laughs> no. He looks like a seasoned veteran. There is Kim in who is a seasoned veteran. 30-year-old Southpaw, 2019 Asian silver medalist. He's beaten some big names over the years. He defeated Theophilus Alote of Ghana yesterday. And Lopez, a very impressive victory over Ramon Quiroga of Argentina. It should be a good battle but I'm looking forward to seeing Lopez again. Kim didn't show that much going forward, and he might have to do a bit more today, and Lopez straight on the attack. Two southpaws going at it, and a couple of big body shots from Lopez right at the start, and he's caught Kim with a com some great shots early on. Yeah, Kim won't get away with uh, what he did last fight. He, he was, wasn't was on point, and as you can see uh, early on, Lopez means business in the first five seconds, I think, he delivered. Him trying body shot there, he gets through. Kim, oh, that's a big left, and he sent Kim backwards. But Lopez on the charge. Kim enjoys a height and reach advantage. Lopez not having anything to do with that. He's just getting beyond that jab. He's getting right in there, up and close. Kim looks a bit stunned early on. Starting to try and put some combinations together, but Lopez, as we saw yesterday, quite accomplished in defense as well. Walked into a left, though, straight left from Kim. Changing body shots. Midway through round one. Signs that Kim has just settled down. There's a left over the top from Lopez. Oh, big right from Lopez after he'd taken a couple of shots. And a right again, that right hook serving him well so far. Oh, another right over the top. Kim is getting through, but he's receiving more in return. Paying a price on his way in. Under a minute to go, round one. And uh, lots of action. And now Kim trying to close fast, maybe find a way to steal this round. Lopez with the head a bit low. And asked to keep it up. One taken on the gloves by Kim. Combination from Kim. Just a little bit short. Did land, but not with the power he would have wanted. goes just as Kim was preparing to throw an uppercut with deadly intent but uh, I think that was a good round for the Puerto Rican yes but Kim got into it in the second half of the round but even when he got back into it he didn't dictate a lot he looked stunned by the fast start from Lopez Big shots from the young Puerto Rican, and again there. Kim did start to come back about midway through the round. We saw some good work from the Korean. 
Lopez in charge at the moment. 10-9 on all five scorecards. Imagine he has had some good corner talk from his father, right? <laughs> Over the years. And so just pick up some of that. Just missing the wraparound left. It was somewhat awkward. Any shot attempted by Kim. He's definitely showing more than he did at the start. He's coming forward. He's getting caught by some right hands. Another warning, got to keep track of the warnings. Head low, and then it, a bit of a headbutt. Yep, he's a lot of discussion, he's got to watch out. Not the first time he's been warned about his head being low. Oh, right hand yeah, from Lopez. Connected. Again. Oh, there's a big right from Kim. Lopez took it well. A few wild swings from Lopez now, yeah. which we haven't seen so far. He's been pretty assured in most of the two bouts we've seen him, but signs that Kim might be just getting into this bout. As I say, that big left from Lopez on target. Well, Kim's body language is much more engaging, although his face is getting hit some more. And forward again, but Lopez tags him. Minutes ago in round two, another left from Lopez, then a couple of quick rights. Kim has got him in the corner, not for long. Oh, big right again from Lopez. Kim responds with a right of his own. Lopez looks pretty happy on the ropes. Kim trying to set up the big left hand. I think Kim feels like he's figured a few things out. In with a couple of punches landing, but not with great power. That was a good right from Kim. This time the Korean is warned about the placement of the head. It's a better round from Kim. I'm not sure he's done enough to take it, though. As the bell goes for the end of round two. He was much more active and scored some. But three judges giving it to Lopez, so he has a two-point lead. Two judges giving it to the Korean, but that's not enough. So Lopez, two points up on three scorecards. He's very much in control. And three minutes away from a ticket to Paris 2024. Yeah, I'm <clears throat> wondering if Kim's thinking, you know, I did pretty well and I'm still chasing a lot so he's gonna have to continue to bore in and you know, look for some kind of a home run shot here and we've seen Lopez ability to get out and go understands the ring very well making a positive start to the final round, which he has to win convincingly. Maybe even needs a stoppage. So he probably does need a stoppage. There's a good left, which sends Lopez backwards. Low to the back of the head, which Lopez complained about to the referee, and the referee's acted on it. What a big right that was from Lopez in close. That's the danger for Kim. 
leaves himself open and this Puerto Rican teenager, he is quick. He's gone into a different format, blocking and standing there, been trying to deliver big shots. And the warning for the head being low, but good body shot from Kim. He's not done yet. Lopez content to just trade punches with him right now. If I was in his corner, I'd be telling him to run with this advantage he has, but... They might be. <laughs> they might be. He, he might not be listening. <laughs> now he's off. Inside the final half. He has a nosebleed a little bit. Hanging out his chin. There's a bit of blood on the yep. face. Referee doesn't deem it worth stopping. That was a great right from Lopez. So fast. Ooh. Kim did not see that coming. Just the angles of the punches. We noticed it yesterday. Just from all yeah. angles. And the speed. There's a slip. Such a talented boxer. And credit to Kim because he's kept coming forward. But Juanma Lopez has had all the answers. 35 seconds to go. I think Kim's fought a good fight. I think so. Just might be in against somebody's better. I think there's very little doubt about it this time. He needed a huge round and his game, courageous. I don't think it was enough. There's the final bell. And nod of the head from him in queue. I think he knows he's been against, he's been up against a very fine opponent as Juan Mar Lopez bows to the crowd. He knows he's done enough. And the 18 year old is on his way to the Olympic Games Paris 2024. Kim in queue. We may well see him in Thailand in the second and final world qualification tournament. Starts at the end of May. But no doubt about your winner, Juan Mar Lopez, on his way. He will certainly command a lot of attention when he gets there. A lot to like. Now the realization sinks in for Juan Mar Lopez. It's a split decision, three to two. Juan Mita, as he's known, son of Juan Mar Lopez, great professional boxer. Interested to see the breakdown of that final round. I guess two judges gave him the final round as he charged forward. Lopez landing crunching blows in that last round, but. Uh, it's all academic. The only thing that matters is that Juan Mar Lopez, Juan Mita, is on his way to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. A little closer, a little closer than I thought. Four judges gave Kim the final round. That's why score looks a bit closer with the judges from Lithuania and Romania giving Kim a verdict overall but 